gold started to take off today. The price was up considerably, and then it abruptly reversed course and moved down very sharply. Silver did something similar as well, although even more extreme. Silver was up to almost $26 an ounce, and now it's actually down on the day. So what is going on with precious metals right now? Buy your gold and silver online from SD Bullion. New customers get gold or silver at spot by visiting sdbullion.com slash new. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. The big news that came out today was the CPI numbers for April. And we can see they're actually at 4.9%. So this is uh, uh, inflation, however they measure it, right? The consumer price index. Uh, so it's less than it was expected to be. And gold price did very well on the back of this news. But then something changed. And that's what I want to talk about. If we take a look at another article, we can see the breakdown here. CPI was supposed to be uh, 5% for April, but ended up being 4.9%. So better than expected. And Jim writes, the CPI report falls slightly into the camp of the U.S. monetary policy doves who want to see the Federal Reserve stop raising interest rates sooner. So yeah, obviously, if they pause with the rate hikes, this would be very bullish for precious metals. So when the report came out, uh, again, gold just took off. It was up considerably on the day. But then at this point right here, everything changed and it's not like there was more news that came out i mean there are some other economic things that are supposed to be uh, released today but what i think happened was the banks stepped in and with their trading algorithms they were able to push the price back down now the banks want the price of gold to be lower why because banks are buying up gold like crazy and silver kind of follows in gold's footsteps so when gold went down silver went down as well but as we know silver is very volatile so it actually fell even farther uh, i want to dive into the banks buying up gold in a second but first i want to look at the uh, cme fedwatch tool so this right here is actually the uh, chance of another rate hike at the June 14th meeting, right? So currently they're saying 85.8% chance that there's no rate hike and 14.2% chance that we'll see another 25 basis point rate hike. However, yesterday the numbers were different. Here was the breakdown. There was actually a slightly higher percentage chance of another 25 basis point rate hike until the CPI data came out. And then obviously things changed for the better. So here is where we stand today. It seems like they're probably not going to do another rate hike at the next meeting, which again, this is really bullish for precious metals. So I do expect to see gold and silver prices go higher if they pause with the rate hikes. And then we can actually jump forward in time here. We could see at the July meeting, they're predicting rates will remain the same. And then in September, they are predicting that rates are going to be cut at that point. Uh, so rates going down by September. In November, we can see they're predicting yet another rate cut. And then by December, they're actually predicting rates will be cut once again. So several rate cuts are on the horizon, potentially. We'll have to see how everything plays out. But if inflation keeps coming down, then this is going to allow the Fed to declare victory over inflation and then start slashing rates to help with all of the bank failures and stuff like that. Now let's talk about big banks buying up gold. The biggest banks in the world are the central banks, and they're literally setting records with the amount of gold that they're buying currently. After a record-setting 2022, central banks continued to buy gold in the first quarter of 2023, setting a new Q1 record. Overall, global central bank gold reserves increased by 228 tons through the first three months of 2023. This was 38% higher than the previous first quarter record set in 2013. 
Total central bank gold buying in 2022 came in at 1,136 tons. It was the highest level of net purchases on record dating back to 1950, including since the suspension of dollar convertibility into gold in 1971. It was the 13th straight year of net central bank gold purchases. So why are banks buying up so much gold right now? Well, according to the World Gold Council, there are two main drivers behind central bank gold buying. It's performance during times of crisis and its role as a long-term store of value. So obviously the banks know that we're in a time of crisis right now and they want to have something tangible, something real that they can hold on to that they know is going to maintain its value through all of this craziness. There is one quote I wanted to read down here. Even though gold is not backing currencies anymore, it is still being utilized. Why? Because it is a real asset. So gold is considered a tier one asset to the banks. It's basically just the same as cash, right? They treat it like money. It is money. And if the banks are buying up massive amounts of gold, they would obviously want the price of gold to be lower. So obviously when gold price spikes up like it did today, they would want to push the price back down. This would be in their best interest so they can buy more gold at a lower price. This is what we would want as individuals. We want the price to go down so it's cheaper for us to acquire the physical gold because as the banks know, over the next few months and few years, gold price could go way higher than it is now, and the value of dollars and other currencies could drop. So that's why they're buying gold. That's why they want gold. That's why we want gold as well. As stackers, we know gold will help us preserve our wealth over long periods of time, no matter what happens to the currencies, right? So the interesting thing is that gold spot price and silver spot price, these have to do with trading on the paper markets. So if they can influence the trading by not necessarily spoofing the price, but putting in big orders and whatnot, uh, they're going to do that and they're going to push the price as low as they can. So I certainly think that when we see stuff like this, I mean, a big move up and then a sharp move down, it either has to do with the banks trying to tamp down the price or it simply has to do with profit taking. So if the day traders see a massive spike like this, they've got things in place set up to automatically sell, right? And then this forces the price down as well. So it could be a combination of the two things. And then the same goes with silver essentially, uh, but silver is just, it's so volatile. I mean, it's crazy that the CPI data coming out is good for precious metals. It's suggesting that the Fed is not going to do another rate hike. We saw the percentages go down for another rate hike, and yet precious metals still fall. It's crazy, but you know what? You should be excited about lower precious metals prices because now you can buy them cheaper than you could yesterday. So take advantage of the dip and buy some more if you like. Anyways, let me know what you think of everything going on today with a comment down below in the comment section. I wanna say a massive thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons out.